Game Fronts Game of the Year Awards 2011. It's that time again to honor the cream of the crop in the world of video games. The following nominees represent the Game Front staff's top five picks of the best games in a specific category. Nominees are chosen by a combination of Game Front review scores, innovation, and overall how much fun they were to play. To take part in our Reader's Choice Awards, make sure to follow the link in the description to our Facebook page and answer the polls set up for you. Feel free to add your own choices to the poll as well if your favorite game is unlisted. After all is said and done, we'll pick one lucky voter to win any $60 game of their choosing. And without further ado, Best Non-AAA Shooter. 2011 was a pretty incredible year for shooter fans, with blockbusters like Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, and Gears of War 3 all coming out within months and sometimes even days of each other. But we at Gamefront felt that we needed to show some love for the smaller shooters that tried to do something a little bit different. And thus, we have the best non-AAA shooter category. Bulletstorm Bulletstorm was a breath of fresh air when it was released in early 2011 in a genre that had become oversaturated with cover-heavy war shooters. Bulletstorm was all about the action, implementing a skill shot system that rewarded killing with creativity and style over safely hiding behind cover and taking pot shots at enemies. The game's over-the-top dialogue matched up perfectly with the outlandish arsenal of weapons, making for a single-player experience unlike any other in the shooter genre this year. Hard Reset This old-school shooter from Polish developer Flying Wild Hog pioneered a whole new way of releasing a game. Rather than spend a year building up hype, it was announced in July and released in September, an approach one can only hope will catch on around the industry. Hard Reset didn't encourage you to take cover or reload, didn't feature regenerating health, and didn't even include a crouch button. Instead, it threw large numbers of robotic enemies at you as you made your way through a cyberpunk-styled world. Hidden secrets, a cool weapon upgrade system, and lots and lots of shooting made this one of the surprise favorites of the year. Red Orchestra 2 Heroes of Stalingrad Red Orchestra 2 is a sequel to the game that earned retail status by winning the Make Something Unreal contest. Its roots are clearly visible to anyone who plays it. The battlefields of World War II were a dangerous place, and that's on full display in Red Orchestra 2. No reviving, no medics, and no ammo counters mean that your life is in your own hands, and you should safeguard it. Complex controls and a ton of confusing maps mean that you need to put some time into the game to master it, but the reward for that is one of the most hardcore multiplayer shooters of the year. Section 8, Prejudice. Few shooters can offer more for their introductory price than Section 8 Prejudice, a downloadable title with a look and feel that can stand on its own against full-blown retail shooters. Section 8 Prejudice may not have the visual splendor of a Killzone 3, but its multiplayer chops are right up there with the best of them, especially for its $15 price tag. Serious Sam 3 Absolute and utter chaos basically sums up Serious Sam 3. The game has but one goal. Put the player in an open field against seemingly hundreds of screaming monstrosities and give them a bevy of unique weapons aimed at causing as much destruction as possible in the quickest amount of time. With simple gameplay, a low price tag, and more enemies to mow down than any other shooter this year, Serious Sam 3 is just plain, unfiltered, and unadulterated fun. Those are our nominees, now get over to our Facebook page and cast your vote for a chance to win a free game in our Reader's Choice Awards. 